Hello Supernatural fans, let's get right into this episode. First of all, I want to say that you might, you probably won't be able to hear it from this uh, video, but it's raining outside right now for me and the cable kept kind of flickering out and I was, I was about to go off. I was like, I am not missing Supernatural for because Mother Earth decided to rain today. I am not. And then a thunderstorm warning trickled across and I couldn't hear half of the conversation in one of the scenes and oh my god, I was getting, I thankfully, Thank the TV gods that I was able to watch the entire episode fully. I missed a little bit of uh, speaking, but other than that, I mean, it wasn't that important or else I really wouldn't know what's going on right now. But let's get right into the storyline. I really liked the Gabriel storyline, and I was so disappointed when they killed him the first time. I was like, no! But then I was like, wait a second. Would, they really have, would he really have walked in there knowing, like, walked into a trap? He's almost too smart for that. And he was. And then they killed him the second time, and I got betrayed twice in that episode because I really liked Gabriel. I feel like out of all the angels, he's the most human and the most relatable. Because you see people like Zachariah and Uriel and Castiel and Lucifer, who are just so... Either they hate humans or they're like Castiel, they don't understand humans. And I really like Gabriel because he's like the hybrid. And I love, love, love the scene with him and Lucifer. Because we all know the dynamic between... Or we all know the story between like Dean and Michael and Lucifer and Sam how they parallel each other. Dean always thought that John Winchester liked Sam more and then Sam ran off. And it's like, you mirror that with the Michael Lucifer storyline. But I really liked the dynamic that they brought in where they made Gabriel and Lucifer, well, they are brothers, but I'm saying like they use it a lot more. And he said like, dad, you, you basically throwing a tantrum. Like you're throwing a tantrum because dad had a new favorite, you know, what's your problem? And I loved that, that he talked to Lucifer like a real person. Cause so many people, think Lucifer, the devil, and we haven't actually seen Lucifer, <sighs> when was the last time we saw him? Before Christmas, in that episode where, um, uh, the one where, you know what I'm talking about, where Joe died, like, the, that was the last time we saw Lucifer, if I'm correct, correct me if I'm wrong, go ahead, um, but I really think that I liked how they, they made it look like they were brothers, and he said, don't make me do this, and and then Lucifer was like, so you're siding with them, and I love, love, I'm sorry to use love so much in this video, but that Gabriel said, no, I'm siding with the humans, dad was right, they are better than us, they know how to forgive, and they, they try, and I love that, because it's so, you know, it's so biblical, for those of you who know the story, and if you have been watching Supernatural, even if you didn't know the story before, you kind of know it now, like, Lucifer would not succumb or bow to humans and this is the reason why he like left and if you follow everything with the fallen angels and all that jazz that's a different story but i'm saying like i think it's ironic that they brought that in that he said you know they try they try to forgive and they do and i think that lucifer of course he's the devil but i mean he lacks that kind of compassion where he couldn't be able to forgive anybody he just can't and so i thought that was a great dynamic and it sucks that gabriel died but the video at the end was hilarious and I'm a spoiler junkie, or I used to be. I'm trying to, like, wield myself off spoilers. But so I knew that they were going to have to find the four rings of the horsemen. It's almost too, like, Pokemon Dragon Ball for me. Like, what to track them down and to beat him down, you know. But I really liked how they said that you can't kill Lucifer, but you can trap him back where he was, and that Lucifer doesn't even know about it. And that's a great thing, because I've been sitting here like, you guys know, we've been wondering this for a year now. How are they going to kill Lucifer? But I hadn't really thought, well, let's just put him back down there. Like, you just didn't think that was an option. But apparently it is. So at least it's a good setup. It's a pr This was a pre-pre-pre-pre-season finale. <laughs> so, um, no, pre-pre-pre-season, I don't know, whatever. Ignore me. And pre Whatever, it's a good lead-in to the season finale. I'll just go with that. So I'm glad that we at least have some sort of way we're doing it now we were just kind of floating around hoping that lucifer was just gonna croak or something so and you guys have all know i've been wondering this for a year and i've been asking you guys this since i don't even remember i've been asking you guys about what you what you think is going to happen so i guess we'll see it resolved the storyline soon and and i also really liked in the storyline how they said that the gods have been there longer than the angels because you never know the supernatural how their system works because even then look at the first three years we just had demons and I don't know about you guys, but I didn't even think about angels. Like, I know there's a correlation there, duh, but um, I didn't even think that they'd bring angels, on, angels onto the show. Angels onto the show, sorry. But I thought it was really cool how they said, you know, 
these gods, it was almost like they're cousins of angels. Like, you forget that, I mean, the show has been so focused on angels. Like, if they fight, the world goes kerflat. But you forget that there's kind of these other forces that work there. Whether they're more powerful or not, that's a different story. But it was a unique thing that they said, you know, you guys are just two people fighting and we need to stop you guys. So I thought that was a really unique part of the storyline that they brought to the well, table. I am just really excited and I'm sad because Supernatural has been so good this year. I don't want to see it go. We have three weeks left. So we'll see. I'll be along with you guys for the ride. So rate, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys thought and I will see you soon for more Supernatural. Bye!